guys, this is Lay Boy Scout, and I partnered today with J&G Sales to bring you a little bit of a field review of the Star Super B. It's a very interesting gun with some very interesting history. We'll talk about that later on. Right now, we're going to get some shots down range, starting off a little bit of accuracy testing. I'm using 115 grain cellular and bellet 9mm. Yeah, I'm going to try this from about 7 yards from this bucket as a rest. Try to get the best accuracy I can from this gun. Let's see how it does. J&G Sales, based in Prescott, Arizona, was kind enough to send me this gun as a testing and evaluation sample. JGSales.com is their website where you can go to bruise all the guns that they're offering right now. They have a huge selection of imported and surplus type guns. This star is one excellent example of that. I've seen lots of great AKs on their website as well. They will also ship to your local FFL, so if you're having a hard time finding exactly the gun you want and you find it on their website, go ahead and order it from them. All right, we're going to try one more group like that, this time from standing instead of from the rest. We'll see how that group opens up. Also, I think I've got a little clearer picture of how those rounds print on the paper. Looks like I need to do a little bit of a six o'clock hold with this gun. When you receive your Star Super B, it will include a cleaning rod, which also doubles as a flathead screwdriver, which can be used to remove the grip panels. You also receive a user manual written in Spanish, as well as a spare eight round magazine for a total of two magazines. You can find additional eight round magazines online. You can also find spare grip panels if you want to swap out the ones that came with your gun. That's not too bad. That's a group I can definitely work with. Star Bonifacio Echeverria SA manufactured small arms beginning in 1905. The company closed its doors in 1997, but not before producing a lot of interesting guns. The Model B and the Model B Super, which we're covering in this video, were two of the more notable handguns produced by the Spanish company. The trigger press and the reset are great on this gun. They're pretty predictable. They feel really nice, too. You don't really like shooting no. it? Yes, it's steady. Good. What? I like this gun better. You like that gun better? Yes. Well, of course you will. Look at it. <laughs> it's, it's tough. This is 123 grain 9mm. The Model B Super or Star Super B obviously borrows heavily from the 1911 design. This gun has actually worked as a stand-in for the 1911 in many Hollywood films, including Pulp Fiction. Eight rounds go fast. The Model B pistol began production in 1931 in Spain. The Model B Super was released as an improvement to the Model B with several changes, some of which included a magazine disconnect safety, a loaded chamber indicator, slightly better sights, and also a quick takedown lever. Way too fast. I'll demonstrate real quickly how the Star Super B takes down. You eject the magazine first, of course, make sure it's off safe and clear. You rotate this takedown lever forward all the way till it stops. The slide comes straight off. The spring pops out like this. Push it forward a little bit, release the tension, and pull it straight out. You've got this little piece on the end, which mates up to the end of that bushing. You rotate the bushing like so. It slides right out like that. The barrel it comes straight out the front just like that, after a little bit of wiggling. To reassemble, of course, you just do the reverse of everything you just did, slide it back in like that, put the bushing in sideways, kind of like so, rotate it back into place where it needs to be, like that. You get that spring, pop it back in, to so made up with that bushing at the front. Then, of course, this plate here at the back of the spring mates up with the bottom of the barrel, just like that. And then it all goes right back on top of the frame. Just like this, you hold the slide back ever so slightly, and rotate that takedown lever backwards, and you are completely reassembled. Now let's really put it to the test with some 115 grain Tula steel cased. If any round is gonna cause problems, I think it's some steel cased ammo.
And we've got a double feed there. Lock, strip. Index, insert, rack. And we're out. So one bobble there on that Tula ammo. We'll put a little more Tula through it see how it does. I don't know if I'm experiencing a little bit of hammer bite there or slide bite. Probably the hammer. Yeah, I'm really feeling that, uh, that hammer bite right there. Having a hard time not choking up there. I, I mean, I'm putting my hand where I naturally do, as high up as I can get it, and I am tending to get a little bit of a hammer bite from that. I can see it's running into your hammer. Yep. And maybe that's its design, but I doubt it. I but would just say it's just to, got a little rough spot in it. To manage it, I just kind of break my grip, pull my thumb off there. Right, but it the should be, you should be able to manage it with, with that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can't hardly do it though, can you? Uh, no, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Ergonomically, this does not feel as good as a 1911 does in terms of the placement and the feel of that paddle. Yeah. But, tell you what, it feels good to shoot. One thing I'll point out on this gun while I'm thinking about it is the interesting safety. Um, it does have some, I guess what I'd call quirks to it. Now it's easy to sweep this safety off as you're bringing it up to fire. It's just a matter of thumbing it down like that, just as you would on a 1911. However, to thumb it back up, it's very difficult to do from here. You don't have the leverage for it. And here's why. The hammer actually needs to go back if you push this up, I'll try to demonstrate this. You push that safety up, watch the hammer. You can't tell. That hammer is actually being pushed, is being pushed down by the safety. You're thumbing it down, obviously, to take the safety off, to put it back on. Obviously, you've got your two-hand grip going on. Just bring your other thumb around, pull that hammer down, then thumb that safety up, and you're good. Okay, so down, up. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to break your grip every time and do something like this where you're, where you're pushing that thumb straight up into the safety. And I just, I don't prefer that. Shooting more of that ZQ1 123 grain right now. So far, it's been perfect. Now this gun has had a handful of type three failures over the 300 or so rounds that I've put through it. It doesn't seem to discriminate between different types of ammo, although it has appeared to do better with federal aluminum cased. So far, I really like this gun. For the most part, it's performed really well. It is soft shooting, fun to shoot. You do have to watch out for that hammer bite right there. As long as you don't choke too far up and get the meat of your hand above that beaver tail, then you'll be okay. But uh, yeah, I like it. And for the price, JG Sales has this for a really nice price. You might want to think about picking one up. If you've been looking for a gun that shares the 1911 form factor but shoots 9mm, this Star Super B is just an excellent choice, especially for the price. This would be a great gun for some kind of a car safe or other emergency kit. I also see it as being a really fun project gun, something you could spend a lot of time with and customize. Aside from that, it would make an outstanding gift as just a recreational shooter. In 2015, JG Sales has this gun for about $250. It, it's it's a fun shooting gun. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised. Buy my Velcro backed patches using the links below and go to Blade HQ for the exclusive Knife Love t shirt. One of the first differences I noticed was actually back here on the grip portion. So you can see the 1911 comes down at more of an angle, a straight angle, and the Super B kind of bolts out of it. I don't like that, but it's, uh, it's certainly not a showstopper. I drew this YouTube. Whoa! Yeah, 
That's awesome. That is very cool, man. Rawr. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Dude, that is sweet. This nice. material may be inappropriate for children under five. <laughs> there you go. It includes a, an ogre with no shirt. <laughs>